field to finish settings within Civil 3D. Point styles. The correct drawing and scaling of points symbols, such as the tree, are controlled by the point styles, created either by description keys or point group styles. We have talked about this in ample detail in the Level 2 course. However, let's review quickly how to set point styles. For more details and practice, you can refer to the previous course. Point styles are found in the Settings tab of the Tool Space in the Point part of the Tree view. Let's look at the point style for the tree. The point style defines which AutoCAD block or point symbol should be drawn. In this case, the AutoCAD block symbol tree was assigned to the style. The size is in absolute unit. Optionally, we can make the size a fixed scale relative to the drawing scale of the screen. Remember that in the field, we entered the diameter of the canopy as an attribute value. When this information is imported, the attribute value was used to scale the symbol correctly. We will see later how to set up Civil 3D symbol scales. The point label style controls the descriptive text label alongside the tree. Again, as we've seen in the Level 2 course, this is set by either using a description key set, a point group label style. Let's see the label style we have already created, which displays the tree height and the species information. This label style is called description only. The part which controls what information is displayed is in text contents on the layout tab. Here we can see that the full description is assigned. We will see later how the full description shows the height and species of the trees. Now that we have seen how the styles and labels are created, the remaining question is how Civil 3D knows how to apply these styles to the imported points. So far, we've only told Civil 3D what a tree should look like and what text to display. But how does Civil 3D identify what a tree is and what is not? This is done by using what is called a description key set.